In today's video, we're going to be talking about Cull Silver, damaged coins with scratches and milk spots, and how I was able to get so many of them over the years for a pretty dramatically lower premium. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about stacking cull or damaged silver coins, rounds, and bars. This is something that I did from 2018 to 2019 to the beginning of 2020. It's not so common nowadays. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new. Make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, July 1st. 2021 happy independence month for the first time in a couple of days it's actually not so brutally hot outside but it just so happens to be pouring rain and as much as i want to be outside i'm going to film today's video in here even though i'd much rather be out there the current spot price of silver as i'm recording the video is $25.93 which is a minor red day for the beautiful white metal down 18 cents and the spot price of gold is $1,770.40, a minor green day for the beautiful yellow metal, up about 20 cents. And the current gold to silver ratio is in the 67 to 68 range. Now, of course, that's as I'm filming the video, not as I'm editing it, posting it, or as you're watching it. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. But today, I wanted to talk about cull silver. I wanted to talk about stacking the coins, the rounds, and the bars, mainly coins, intentionally when you know that they have scratches or they're scuffed up or they're tarnished, toned, or have milk spots or just some form of damage to the face of the coin. It just really alters the way that it looks a little bit. Maybe it's not so pleasing to look at. I mean, who wants to see a maple leaf with all these milk spots all over it or who wants a silver eagle that's completely scratched up or worn down or has some little dings or dents or whatever the case may be that's what cull silver is and when I first got started stacking silver it took me a couple of months before I decided that I wanted to go for pure silver one troy ounce coins such as the silver eagle such as the maple leaf and back then we actually had the option of choosing whether or not we wanted uncirculated coins or cull or damaged coins. You could pick between the two. They have their pros and their cons, which I'm going to get into a little bit later in the video. Before I do that, I want to include a small piece of last night's VIP Club live stream. For those of you who do not know, I do live streams every single Wednesday night in the VIP Club. Link in the description. I also do giveaways and a whole bunch of other stuff if you want to join. But I'm going to include a little clip right here explaining a little bit of the story of how I went from 2018 and 19 and the very beginning of 2020 stacking cull silver. Not exclusively, but just little bits at a time. I'm going to show that clip, and then I'm going to come back on and tell a little bit more of the story. Here we go. Because originally I was stacking just nothing but generic rounds. Then I started stacking nothing but silver eagles. And then I was like, eh, you know what? Let me throw in some maple leaves as well. Slightly higher level of purity. Slightly lower premium. Keep in mind, this was 2018, 19, and early 2020. I was far more likely to get them for a ridiculously low premium, the Maple Leafs, because I would shop around and, you know, everybody likes to have uncirculated coins. Everybody likes to have nice, perfect, pristine condition coins, as do I, but I would go out of my way to find culls. I would pick up 
mostly maple leafs. Silver eagles when I would stumble upon them, but they weren't always up for grabs. Most people hang on to their silver eagles, and if you keep them in the tubes, or in the capsules, or, or, or the plastic flips, they should be perfectly fine. So I don't think too many people experience their silver eagles toning, considering they probably keep them pretty protected. So most people who get silver eagles, they lock them up. You know, set it and forget it. What do, what do you need to crack open a monster box for? You know what I mean? Or even um, a single tube of 20. So eagles, set it and forget it. Maple leaves, on the other hand, you could spend the money or the currency on uncirculated, pristine condition maple leaves, fresh from the mint, the Royal Canadian Mint, brand new from this year, and they'd still arrive with milk spots. Pre-2018, by the way. I'm talking about 2017, 16, 15, 14. So that was the problem. People would get these maple leaves, brand new, untouched maple leaves, and they would show up with milk spots. And milk spotted maple leaves very quickly make their way back, either to the coin shop or back to the dealers or back to whoever. And there was a whole separate category for the longest time dedicated to cull maple leaves. And they were never out of stock. Silver eagles, yeah, they, they, they'd run out of cull eagles. Cull maples, always there. So I was pretty much stacking silver eagles, cull eagles when I would find them, and as many cull maples as I can get my hands on. That's what I did for pretty much all of 2018, 19, and early 2020. I would probably say that I, if I had to guess, I probably have more cull maple leaves than uncirculated maple leaves. If I had to guess, I don't know. I haven't really gone through them like that, but I keep them in separate tubes. I'll have to count to be sure. I'm, I, I don't know. So yeah, that right there was about, I don't know, three, three and a half minutes worth of, believe it or not, a three hour and 40 something minute long live stream. That's right, we actually broke a VIP club record last night. I believe that's the longest stream I've ever done. Almost four hours long, and guess what? That's pretty typical. I usually live stream for two hours or longer every single Wednesday night, so friendly reminder, Link in the description if you want to become a VIP club member. I also do monthly giveaways, daily silver and gold deal alerts, exclusive weekly live streams, exclusive weekly adventure vlogs. I post every single one of my videos early and commercial free, and I do a bunch of other stuff as well. So link in the description if you want to join. Now, I wanted to go into a little bit further detail when I said earlier in the video that there are pros and cons to stacking uncirculated coins versus cull or damaged coins with scratches or marks or milk spots or whatever the case may be. Now, most people definitely prefer the uncirculated coins. Let's be honest, it just looks nicer. Nice, pristine condition, brand new, fresh from the mint. It's a great looking coin. It's never been touched before. It's never been dropped before. It's never been you know, dumped into a pile of other coins before. It's just in great condition. It's nice and shiny. It's nice and clean. It just looks really good. Of course that's a pro, but there's an even more important pro, and that is when it comes time to part ways with the stack or portions of the stack. Coins, same can be said for rounds and bars, they sell better when they're in good condition. The uncirculated coins, in great physical shape, you can get a higher premium for them when you go and convert them back into dollars, assuming that you took your dollars and converted them into silver in the first place. Let's just say you go to work, you get your paycheck, 
You pay the bills, and with whatever is left over, you take and put it into silver. Uncirculated silver coins. Over an extended period of time, let's just say your stack of silver appreciates in value. Maybe it's due to the dollar bill depreciating in value, or maybe it's just because of supply and demand. Maybe the demand is beginning to exceed the supply and it's driving the price up, and you decide for yourself that you want to sell, or maybe you don't want to sell, but maybe you need to sell, whatever the case may be. So you take those coins to the local coin shop, or if you network with people at coin shows and customers at the coin shop, whatever, you reach out to them and say, hey, I need to sell or I want to sell, and I'd like to part ways with the stack with a member of the community. I want to give the silver to them in exchange for dollars. Or you could just put it up online. You can advertise it on social media. You could put it up for sale on eBay or one of those other sites to sell stuff. You could do whatever you want when it comes time to part ways with your silver. But if it's uncirculated, you should be able to get a much higher premium, being that they're in such good condition. The con to uncirculated silver would be, in order to get your hands on them, it's going to cost you a little bit higher of a premium. But when it comes to cull, when it comes to damaged silver with scratches, with scuffs, discoloration, toning, milk spots, whatever, it lowers the premium for you. In order to get your hands on silver, if you choose to go with damaged silver, it lowers the barrier to entry. Not to say that silver is out of reach by any means, but we all know premiums are a little bit of an issue right now. And then on the flip side, the con would be when you would part ways with your silver, if it's all damaged stuff, you decrease the likelihood of a customer or a potential customer saying that they want the silver. There might be a chance that they say no because it's not in good condition. They might not want the damaged silver. But there will always be a buyer. There will always be a customer. It's just unfortunate you're more than likely going to get a significantly lower premium than you would if you were to part ways with your uncirculated coins. So there are pros and cons. The way I see it, I'll stack a little bit of both for different reasons. That's why I keep them separate. I have tubes of silver eagles and tubes of silver maples that are uncirculated, brand new, never been damaged in any way, shape, or form, uncirculated coins. And then I have separate tubes dedicated to the culls. Now, like I said in the clip, I might actually have more cull maples than uncirculated maples. When it comes to silver eagles, that is not the case. I have I definitely have more uncirculated silver eagles. I have a lot of silver eagles, and it's just the base of my stack, which is probably what tomorrow's video is going to be about, by the way. But point being is that silver is silver. Damaged silver is still silver. Tarnished silver is still silver. Milk spotted silver is still silver. Silver is silver. Therefore, to me, in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel has ever been financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off your conclusions, not mine. But the conclusion that I came to was that silver is silver no matter what, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it is, no matter where it's from, silver is silver. So I'm going to stack whatever I can get my hands on for the lowest possible premium or any time that I see what I consider to be a really good deal or a discount or something's on sale, something that I want, something that I've been wanting. If I see that the premium's knocked down a little bit, I'll go after some. That's just what I like to do because at the end of the day, nobody likes to think about it because we all want a mountain of silver in our possession, but at the end of the day, it's just silver when it's all melted down. So that's the way I see it. That's just my opinion. I'm curious, what are your thoughts? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. And if you have ever intentionally 
gone after, stacked, bought, converted your dollars into, whatever you want to call it, the cull or the tarnished or the damaged coins. Have you ever gone after cull silver eagles? Do you still go after cull silver eagles? And if you do, let me know where I can get my hands on them because they're not too common anymore. The only ones up for grabs are uncirculated eagles and they have astronomically high premiums. That's what I liked about the cull coins. It would knock down the premium a little bit. But nowadays, culls go so quick I don't think there's even really much of an opportunity to find them anymore. But let me know in the comments section down below anything and everything related to today's video topic and your thoughts and opinions on the cull precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. I posted one about China banning cryptocurrency, one about AT&T cutting its dividend, other videos about real estate, videos about silver, videos about gold, and a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 3,000 subscribers. We just hit 2,000, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you, it comes out of my pocket, not yours. And of course, last but not least, the brand new DYDSS Karen Free Zone t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug. My name is not Karen. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on everything shared in today's video? When it comes to the cull, or when it comes to the damaged silver coins, the eagles, the maples, or even something else, the kangaroos, the philharmonics, the Britannias, and it doesn't just have to be silver, by the way, it could be gold as well. And it doesn't have to be pure silver or pure gold. It could be pre-65, pre-33, it could be foreign coins, it doesn't really matter. What are your thoughts on intentionally stacking damaged coins so that you can acquire them for a lower premium. Do you think the pros outweigh the cons or do you think the cons outweigh the pros? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow and remember don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.